We're going to be speaking about how our God speaks this morning. Our God speaks. What a blessing. He actually speaks. If you have not experienced this, ask Him for it. The Bible is fraught. Fraught. It has a lot of places that talk about God speaking to us. Amen? And He will speak to you. It may not be through a burning bush experience. It may not be a big sonic boom from heaven. But the Bible does say He speaks. And if you have not heard it, ask, plead with Him. Diligently seek Him, Lord. I want to hear from you. And trust me, He wants to speak to you. He wants to talk to you. I think He wants us to want it badly. Bad enough to diligently seek Him. But, folks, there's a lot of ways He'll speak to us. He speaks to us through a number of ways, most often through His Word. Sometimes we are out there begging, God, speak to me, speak to me. And I've seen a funny picture before, and it shows this man crying out to God, God, speak to me. And then through the clouds, you see God's hand reaching down with a Bible on His hand. It's, it's humorous, but <laughs> the easiest way that you can get God's Word and, and hear from Him is through being in the Word. Amen? That is, He gave that to us to have that direct access. Sometimes we want to hear just His voice all the time. And that's well and good enough to want that. But nevertheless, He has given us His voice through written form. And that's His Bible. Make sure you're in it. There are so many times where God will illuminate a scripture to me. But I had to have been in His Word to know it first. Amen? Amen. He will illuminate it to me and say, Oh yeah! As a matter of fact, He did it for me this sermon. I'm gonna, when I get to it, I'll point it out to you. But I asked Him to do that specifically. I said, God, since we're talking about hearing your voice, can you can do me a favor and, and give me an example? Amen? I want to give Him a fresh example of you speaking. And, and more specifically, something that you highlight to me through your word, he did. He'll do that for us too, all of us. Amen. But we gotta be students of his word. We gotta be in the word. Amen. Then he can recall it to our attention. He can bring it through the Holy Spirit and remind us. So number one is his word. Number two is yes, he will speak to us too. He will speak to us, and it's usually in a whisper. Amen. It's usually that still, small voice that is telling you something. He'll speak to us through wonders and signs and miracles. He'll speak to us through prophets or other people of God. He'll, he'll put something on an individual's heart to relay to you. And man, that's exactly what you've been praying for. Has that ever happened to you? It ha it's happened to me a, quite a bit. He'll put it on other believers' minds to relay a message to you that you've already been praying for. God, please give me understanding of something. God, please answer my prayer. And boom, here it is. Through somebody else He uses. He'll speak to us through visions and dreams. I haven't ever had a vision yet, but it does happen. But I have had some dreams that God has spoken to me through. And He can do a number, anything He wants to, right? We've talked about the burning bush already. He can cause a burning bush to pop up in front of you and He can speak to you that way. There's so many ways that God employs to speak to us. There's a number of ways. But we have to be paying attention. Amen? we got to be able to start recognizing some of those things. And not have the mentality of, oh, well, that was just a coincidence. Right? We need to get that word out of our vocabulary, at least pertaining to God and His ways. If something happens that is pertaining to something especially that you've been praying for, pay attention. Take note of that because God might truly be speaking to you in those ways. But here's some good telltale signs of how to kind of pinpoint God down on, is that really God or is that my thoughts or is that a devil or a demon speaking to me? How do I decipher? How do I know the difference? One thing you can be sure of, folks, is God will never ask you to sin. 
never under any circumstance ask you to do a sinful thing. Now you may in your mind think and rationalize, hey, this is the only way I can get this thing accomplished. God always has another way. It will never be doing something that is a sinful thing. He never got Jesus to sin. Hey Jesus, I need you to, I'm going to make an allowance this one time to get you to complete a specific task. No, if Jesus would have sinned once, his sacrifice would have been null and void. It would not have counted. So would he ask us to do the same thing if Jesus is our perfect example? Never. Never. Of course, there has been allowances in the Bible. God has uh, allowed somebody's certain circumstance. Hey, you, you did the best that you knew how to do. Hey, we'll give you, give you understanding on that. God will give you understanding and mercy and grace. Nevertheless, there's always another way. You might have to spend more time in prayer to find out what it is, but it won't ever be God leading you and telling you to sin. Never. So acknowledge that now. Amen? God's not going to be in the business of getting you to sin when He's always telling us, don't sin. Amen? Wouldn't those two things be contradictory? God's telling you, don't sin, don't sin. And then He's like, oh, but, but sin here. No, He never does that. So be okay with that and understand that beforehand. God's voice usually can be confirmed in His Word, if not always. So if it doesn't line up with the Word, it probably isn't right, right? Usually the checklist is, does God confirm this in His Word? And I've often found that God is very precise and concise when He's speaking to us. He tells us a very specific thing, very specific phrase, not very long and drawn out or long-winded. He just tells you, boom, what you need to know. Sorry for the pot. You need, you need to know this. Amen? So He tells you very, very precisely what it is and very concise, short and sweet to the point. And that's how I've always found him speaking to me. All right? Now, can he speak longer? Yes, of course. He can do anything he wants. But at least from my walk and what I've found, it's been very specific and very to the point. Now, another way that we can know how God is speaking to us is he confirms usually through two or three witnesses. He will give us a confirmation of some kind. He will let us know. Thank you.